Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm just starting off on my light table here, and I found this cute little flapper girl character who, um, everybody knows I love the 20s and 30s and 40s Art Deco. My favorite is Art Nouveau uh, style, Mooka, um, and so this little girl was so cute, so I just thought I'd um, make her, and how I found her was my HP printer has this thing called printables and I was just looking in there for some line art to see if I could use it and I came across this thing where it's like paper dolls as you can see it's a thing that uh, you print out and you can cut them out and make paper dolls and of course I wouldn't do this but I just thought the character was so cute it's almost like a digi stamp and I figured instead of cutting them out and putting them on her and making an outfit um, you know, I do this all the time in my designs. I sort of cobble things together, different elements and whatnot. And so I figured I'd, I'd just, uh, you know, take her body and then pick the dress and the accessories I like and just make a character out of it. So I'm just doing it in this way uh, with my light table. So you can go check this site out uh, they, they have something on the web and it's at www.paperthinpersonas.com That's paperthinpersonas.com And they've got all sorts of cute little girls there that you can dress up. So if you feel like making your own character um, and picking and sort of clothing them in this way, you could do that. I know this isn't for everyone, but... Um, I find it super easy to do so I'll just speed this up and let you watch this part of the process As you can see there on the right, there is another little digi stamp girl that I did before, the 20s girl. It's just because I liked her. She's a dark skinned girl with braids in her hair and beads in a pirate outfit. And here we've switched over to the coloring portion of my video. Uh, so hopefully you can have fun just watching me color her in.
So after I've colored in the dress here, um, I have enough skin colors, but I figured out that the reason my the dress clashes a little bit with the card is that I don't have enough, I don't own enough um, cool green colors. And I figured that out coloring this dress and making this card. Here I am just making some shadows under her arms and just making her look a little more 3D here. Um, and I don't have my Copic, col Copic marker uh, stash uh, full yet, so I have to make do with the colors that I have and it drives me nuts because if I want to do something a certain color, I need to make it that color in order to make it look good. And I don't have enough greens, um, blue, like uh, cool greens to, um, to go with the back of the card. And also I'm running out on my very lightest shade of skin color, which also drives me nuts. So the way I do things is I, the way I color skin is I usually just do light all over mostly and leave sort of holes where the lightest areas of, I know where the contours of the face are the lightest, tops of the cheekbones, the nose, the forehead, the chin. Um, uh, tops of the arms, tops of the hands, uh, wherever the light's hitting, and it's different under a skirt. It's gonna go whichever way the uh, light is coming from, the light source is coming from. But um, and here I am going over the beads in my white gel pen. Uh, later I made them like a sparkly yellow, but I did not like that at all. And I ended up going over them with the white again, uh, but I prefer them white and crisp, like crisp white pearls, which we all love, right ladies? Uh, right here what I'm doing is one of my favorite little tricks. Um, it's actually in the painting world called glazing and what you do is you lay down lighter colors uh, sometimes even white and I'm doing this now with a white jelly roll pen and then you glaze over for highlights or just light areas and then you glaze over with a lighter color um, in this case of brown or a honey or you can this is a way to warm things up or cool things down um, so let's say I found her hair too cool and needed some warm tones in there just like they do with highlighting hair um, and I, you wanted some honey tones in there well, you just add some white to lighten it up so if you ever make a mistake in your Copics and everything's too dark get out your jelly roll pen put a few highlights in and then take your light brown or um, a cooler or a warmer marker and lay it over in a glaze and that will warm it up. Um, a lot of artists do this with like t say tiger's fur, they put in the yellows that way um, or with hair and stuff like that but you could use it as a way just to simply warm something up or cool something down um, such as shadows or hair or fur or something like that. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this portion of uh, watching me color in uh, Green Eyed Girl Flapper. I'm going to refer you to watching my second part of this video where I put together the card that she's going to be on for Mother's Day and I cut out the card on my Cricut Explore machine and take you through that process. So I'll link to that video in the bar below. Thanks.